Happy New Year everyone. Thought I would do this video today kind of showing you an upgrade I did on my Atlas SD35 I got for Christmas. Um, I installed a Digitrax SDH-164D sound FX decoder in this uh, unit. Uh, it came standard with a SD38 sound. I subsequently had a GP38 sound I like better downloaded into it. Uh, the other day uh, at my model train club my good friend was able to download the SD40-2 sound which is even much better because it has the turbo uh, sound in it. The I know the SD35 had a 567 turbo and the SD40-2 had the 645 turbo but uh, I like the sound much better uh, in this SD35 with the turbo uh, kicking in sound so I went ahead and installed this uh, it's really neat. The Digitrax DH-164D uh, costs you anywhere from about uh, 39 to about 45 bucks. Uh, you can't beat it for the money. Uh, Digitrax is building programs uh, that you can download into your computer, then subsequently by their little downloader into the locomotive you can download. They've got a, quite a bit of um, units now already downloaded that you can go ahead and change the sound in this decoder. Of course, I changed this to the SD40-2 sound. I like it so much better. Uh, it has changed some of the sounds, such as the horn and whatever. I'm going to fire it up and let you hear it uh, and go from there. Alright, there is your sound. Let me cut the light on. I'll run through the sounds with you. This is the course the bell. Horn. I like the horn a lot better than what I had on there from if you've heard my other or saw my other video. Standard uncoupler. Air pumps, this is the dynamic brake sound, I like this a lot. This is engine rev up, you can put this and install it on your DT400, uh, Digitrack in the program tells you how to do that. And then we'll, uh, we'll go with number seven, which is diesel, diesel rev down. Okay, this is your mute, of course. Mutes it right out. Got a squeal coming up. And of course, if you go through a crossing, it blows too long and one short. Alright, I have it coupled to my other SD35, which has the Central of Georgia lettering. It has a standard um, Digitrax DH123PS decoder in it. They run together really good. Uh, so, you know, we're all fired up. I'm going to show you climbing a hill and then I'll probably put the dynamic brake on. So my uh, southeast road cars as you see. That's what I model the southeast area with Southern and Seaboard Airline and Clinchfield. 
L and N Atlantic coastline. Southern Caboose there is a Walders product. All right. We'll pick up some speed here as it goes up the hill. Coming around my where my coal plant is, my steam-fired coal plant for electricity. This is my small layout in one of my bedrooms in my house. It's coming around the curve there. And we'll bring her back down. As it goes into dynamic braking. And the sun's peeking in, I got a window open here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and all have a happy new year. The SDH-164D, great little product.